Hey everyone, I'm Jared Falk, and today I'm going to give you a lesson on something I'm a little bit nervous about, and that is the Rosanna Shuffle. This is one of my all-time favorite grooves to play. Now, this is this groove is written by uh, Jeff Percaro from the band Toto, and he is no longer with us. Uh, may he rest in peace. But he gave us some absolutely phenomenal drumming. One of my uh, top drummers for sure, as far as feel goes, as far as creativity, um, as far as session drumming. You know, he's someone that we can all look up to. And so this lesson is definitely dedicated to him. Um, but basically. Uh, the main concept here isn't necessarily, you know, technique or anything technical like that. It's more just feel, you know, how can we develop the feel to um, make a sound closer to how he made this sound. And uh, yeah, and so that's why it's called the Procaro Shuffle or the Rosanna Shuffle or, or anything like that. But you'll notice that the sheet music there, I've written out what I think is the best steps in order to learn the actual groove. And number five is the main groove. Now there's different variations of the groove played throughout the song, but this, if you learn that number five, you're gonna, you know, have the good foundation to actually be able to play through the song. And I've been playing through this song for years and years, and I'm still not at the point where I feel <laughs> close enough to, you know, uh, comfortable with what's happening on the album. I think I'm playing along, technically it sounds fine, but I'm still striving and I'm still looking to develop that feel and to try and figure out you know, what this guy had that, um, that I don't and how can I get some of it. And so um, let's just kind of uh, go through number one. I'm going to play this at two tempos for you. I'm going to play it slow at 70 and play it fast at 140. Here we go. So step one is hitting basically every single eighth note triplet, and you're ghosting those notes in between. Okay, so on the trip, <coughs> if you count them one triplet, or on the and, if you count them one and, uh, however you count triplets, um, we need to hit every single ghost note on that note, and then every other note is hit with our right hand. Now, if you look at number two, we're actually adding an accent on count three, and now this is where the whole halftime shuffle feel comes in. Now. The, the biggest challenge here is hitting the accent and then immediately after hitting the ghost note. And so to practice that, you know, before you even get on the groove, I recommend doing something like this. And then from there, you can go ahead and start practicing with the groove, always starting extremely slow. So just work on exercise number one and then exercise number two to start and really try and develop a feel uh, for hitting the accent and then the ghost note. Um, exercise number three, we basically start inserting the bass drum. And so we've got a bass drum on count one and a bass drum on the let of four or the ah of four, whatever you do. So here's that played at two separate tempos. Now number four is just created to add a little bit more complexity with the bass drum. This is something I always struggled with and so if I struggle with something it's, it's something I always put in my lessons because I figured other people probably have similar problems to me. And so um, yeah, just a little bit more complexity, getting you a little bit more comfortable playing this, the hand pattern, you know, with the ghost notes, with the accent and stuff, with different types of kick patterns below. And you can kind of improvise off of this and come up with some of your own as well.
And now we're gonna put it all together. So like I said at the beginning of this lesson, this is a variation of what I believe the main groove that is being played. Now he moves around this and he moves to the ride and there's some open hi-hat stuff here and there and tons of crazy fills. And I mean, if you, if you haven't listened to this song, go download it off of iTunes right now. Um, you'll, you'll be floored at the, the drumming, on, not only on this track, but there's like amazing drumming on all the, the total tracks. So definitely um, check that out. But here we go, I'm gonna play this for you guys again at 70 and 140. So there is the lesson on the Procaro Shuffle or the Rosanna Shuffle or whatever you want to call it. You guys can go download the sheet music on the website. So if you're watching there right now, congrats. You are where you need to be. There is the sheet music right below. If you are watching this on YouTube or anywhere else, you'll find a link in the, the more info section which will take you to the website where you could actually download the sheet music and any other related materials that go with the lesson. Um, one other thing I want to add is we just recently launched drumio.com, which is our new website that's hosting all of our um, drum lesson training packages. So all of our DVD-based training packs and our online-based training packs. And so a lot of people don't know this, but we do weekly live events with our online students, um, one hour each week where we uh, just basically take your guys' questions and talk about different problems that you're having. And we also have like a main topic as well. And so there's tons of people showing up to those. And you know, it's a free, added thing when you buy uh, one of our online training packs. So if you go buy the, the drumming system or the Cobus method or anything like that, you get that uh, for free, just included. So it's nothing ongoing or anything like that. Um, it's a pretty insane value. You guys will, uh, you know, just go and check it out. No pressure if you don't want to buy. It's not like we're going to take over your computer and come knocking on your door as soon as you come to our website. But I just recommend you go there, check it out. Um, hopefully you find something that suits you and, and something that's really going to help you take your drumming up a notch. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.